Okay. So today I am going to start the symmetry properties and uh, conservation laws. And here I will discuss the homogeneity of space and which leads to the law of conservation of linear momentum. As we know that at the UG level or the under undergraduate level, we study that space around us is homogeneous. and isotropic. So homogeneous and isotropic. And under this, we will study that uh, homogeneity of space of space and homogeneity of time and the third third thing that is isotropy of space these are the three things which we study in mechanics so homogeneity of space this leads to the Law of conservation of uh, linear momentum. And under this, that homogeneity of time, this leads to the law of conservation of energy. And isotropy of space, this leads to the law of conservation of angular momentum. And this homogeneity of space means uh, Space translation, this leads to the linear space uh, translation. This is related to space translation, this homogeneity of space. Translation. <coughs> and this law of conservation of energy means homogeneity of time. This relates to time translation. And this law of conservation of angular or isotropy of space means uh, rotation, uh, related to rotation of the coordinate system. means any physical quantity under space translation will remain invariant whereas uh, any physical quantity under time translation remain invariant and similarly the rotation sorry uh, it's rotation rotation of the coordinate system leaves the system physical system invariant so, and these three things leads to these three different conservation laws that's what we will discuss here <coughs> Now, first of all, in this lecture, I will talk about homogeneity of space, and this leads to the law of conservation of linear momentum. So let me talk about it here. Means homogeneity of space. Homogeneity of space.
and homogeneity of space means that any arbitrary displacement of origin or linear translation any arbitrary displacement of origin of any reference frame the prop the physical properties of the system system remain unaffected remain unaffected as we can say that physical properties of the system system remain unchanged under time sorry under space translation so for this let us consider a lagrangian of an particle lagrangian of n particle system and we have to prove that under space translation if there is a space translation r to r i prime then this l remain invariant but as r i will become under space translation r i prime and this can be written as r i uh, plus epsilon right this is the space translation now under this space translation our lagrangian will become l prime and it is equal to l plus delta l right but as we know that this delta l is equal to curly l over curly r i epsilon but according to homogeneity of space space lagrangian remains invariant that means l prime must be equal to l and this is possible if delta l is equal to 0 which implies that equal to 0 summation over i then summation over i means this delta r i equal to 0 but according to lagrange's equation of motion motion is curly l over curly r i is equal to d upon dt curly l over curly r i dot 
So if I use this here, then I am getting that d upon dt curly l over curly r i dot is equal to zero. So that means I can write down it as uh, summation can be taken inside and this t upon dt can be taken outside and curly L over curly R I dot is equal to zero. But L is T minus P. That's what we know. And it is half M I R I dot square minus B R one and so on R I. So that means if I take its derivative with respect to R i, then it can be written as M i R i dot. So if I put its value here, then I can say that d upon d t summation over R i, a summation over i M i R i dot, and it must be equal to zero. And this is possible if and only if this term m i r i dot is equal to constant means if it is the constant of motion thus we can say that total angular this term is basically representing total angular momentum thus space translation which is a consequence of homogeneity of space and this leads to law of conservation of and linear momentum or in other words i can say that total angular momentum is the constant of motion total linear momentum not angular but total linear momentum is constant of motion right so that's what we did in this lecture this is the ultimate goal to be achieved in this lecture in the next lecture i will talk about that homogeneity of time leads to the law of conservation of energy that's a also very important uh, article so that's all for this lecture